In this video, you'll learn how to review an employee's time off request after it's been submitted to you, the manager. The first step is to log into ADP Workforce Now with your username and password. Once you log in, you'll see a homepage that looks like this. Next, you want to view the details of the request, so you click on the Message Center icon, which looks like an envelope and is located in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Pending actions such as time off approvals will be listed under tasks. Clicking tasks will show you the pending requests. You have a pending request from an employee, Brenda Hahn, which is now displayed. Next, you'll click view all messages. This will bring you to a new screen. On this screen, select tasks. You can instantly approve a request by clicking the check mark icon. You can instantly deny a request by clicking the X icon. In this scenario, you want to view the request details, so you click on the three dots and then select Review. This will open a new window. You will select View Each Day Individually to see the details for each day of the time off request. Brenda is requesting three days off, July 11th, 12th, and 13th. To ensure she has adequate available time, view her balances in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In this scenario, Brenda has 80 accrued vacation hours and is only requesting 21 hours off, so she does have sufficient time. Next, you want to ensure you have adequate coverage to accommodate the request. To do this, click Check Schedule. By clicking this, I can see that another employee has already been approved for a time off request on one of the days that Brenda is requesting. Based on coverage concerns, you now want to approve two days and deny the request for July 11th. To do this, click into the Review Each Day Individually checkbox. Now you can apply different actions to each day. To deny the request for July 11th, you click into the drop down box on the left hand side of the screen and select deny. You then scroll down and will add a comment to explain to the employee why the request was only partially approved. Finally, click process. The approval is now saved, which is indicated by the green box that appears. Now, the approval is displayed on the employee's calendar and the employee is notified through their message center. The employee's time off balances are updated automatically. Because one of Brenda's days was denied and the others were approved, the status is listed as mixed.